Hi, I'm Louisa Higgins, and thank you for joining me for Easy Arts for Everyone. Today, our art projects can be something a little different, and it's called a vision board. And I actually didn't know what a vision board really was until sometime recently when a group asked me to do that with them and to take them through making a vision board. Now I'm a big fan. So a vision board is really about asking yourself the big questions, and it could be different for different people. But in a very simple way, the three questions we're going to ask to create our vision board are, one, who am I? Two, what do I like or what do I like to do? And finally, what are my goals? A goal or more than one goal? And this is really kind of a social and emotional learning activity because it really asks us to think about our sense of self and also where we're going. What are What is the goal setting that we want to do? And then the point is that after you finish your vision board, you keep it handy. And so that you're always mindful of like, who am I? What do I stand for? What do I represent? What do I like? Where am I going? And by having those that vision present all the time, it helps you get there. So this is a lot of fun and I've actually done two myself since I learned what they were. But I'm going to take you through what the basic process is. And this one, this art project, it doesn't have to be expensive. It does require that you assemble a bunch of things before you get started. So what I have here is um, just some basic mixed media paper, so heavier paper. And then this is paper that's used for scrapbooking. That's a big square, which is a nice block or a nice background to make your vision board. I recommend tons of magazines and catalogs, you know, the catalogs that come free to your house and magazines, because then you have lots of images to choose from to cut out. You can also find words online that you can print out, lots of different words you can print out and cut up so you have them ready. So just different adjectives to describe yourself and your personality. Also, I recommend grabbing stickers, having those handy, uh, glue, glue sticks, scissors, tape, and I even found these fun little tapes that were in the scrapbooking section at Michael's. So if I was going to go ahead and make you a quick little vision board that encompass some of the things that I'm about and that I like. I am really, let's see, first of all, I'm going to put up a word that I believe about myself that's about me. So I am a creative person. So that's a word I'm going to put on my vision board that kind of describes who I am. Also, I love cats. So I'll put a cat up there to represent that. And then I'm going to look at some goals. So one of my goals, especially after the year that we have just had, is to get back out traveling. And one of the places I would love to go is Greece. So I'm going to put that on my board because I have a vision of going to Greece one day. And then I love to sail too. And maybe those two visions are going to go together. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to sail around the Greek islands. And you know what? It's not going to happen if I don't think about it and work towards it. So I'm going to put that up there too. And then I found some neat stickers. I like this one in particular. Find your wings and fly. It's pretty positive. You know, see I'm moving things around and I wouldn't actually glue things down until I was really sure. I would just kind of lay things on my paper flat and get a feel for it. I could also go in with crayons or markers and do my own designs to make things more interesting and add color. So I encourage you to do that to personalize the look of your vision board. And then as I mentioned, there are these fun little tapes that I found. And I'm not a scrapbooker, but I found these and I thought they were great. And you can use those perhaps to border something on your vision board, put it like so. So really you see it's a collection of the three questions. Who am I? You know, what do you believe about yourself? Um, what are some goals? Uh, what are some adjectives and so on? And then you finish your vision board and you put it up somewhere close by in the bedroom, in the kitchen that you can look at it on a regular basis. So this is a really fun and inexpensive activity. I would recommend for middle school, high school, or adults and can be done as a family group together and then you can share each other's visions. Here is a finished one, one of the first ones I did. And I also, you can see here that I've used photos so you can have photographs. So for me, like I'm a mom, and so I wanted my family, my kids in the top left. I'm a teacher, so I had a picture of a teacher who did an art project that I had taught her. They're sailing again and scuba diving, and then this has to do with friendship. 
So I love this one. I made this in the past year and I keep it handy. So this is what a finished product might look like. So I invite you to put the music on, have fun, spread out all your materials and go to town and make yourself your very own vision board. Thank you for joining and please subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.